all liked the quiz. It was surely an interesting one. Now we would like to invite Suman Khanna ma'am to read out the journey of our beloved ex-teacher, played Mrs. Santosh Sachdeva, as written by her family. She left for heavenly abode in the month of January. Mrs. Santosh Sachdeva was the first teacher to join as well as retire from Ramji School, R.K. Pura. We pay our tribute to her on this very special occasion of Teachers' Day. Now over to Suman, ma'am. Thank you, Mansha. Here I read the message sent by Mrs. Sachdeva's family. Mrs. Santosh Sachdeva, born in October of 1935 at Sialkot, erstwhile West Punjab, now Pakistan, was the eighth among ten siblings of Rallan family. She, alongside her family, survived the horrors and trials of partition to settle in Agra, where she did her schooling. Her quest for education was cut short by the conservative views of the time that pushed her to excel in homely pursuits such as cooking, oil painting, and embroidery. She married Sri Jadish Chandra Sachdeva in early 1959 and was blessed with a son, Mandeep, soon after. Undaunted by difficult circumstances and familial responsibilities of her large matrimonial home, she wholly supported her husband in settling his much younger brothers and sisters. In the mid-60s, she attended courses on cooking and food preservation. Till shortly before her health, started to decline, she was constantly flooded with requests for her sumptuous pickles, jams, and squash preparations. She is fondly remembered for all the indulgence she showered on others through her love and cooking. Alongside all this, her determination to further pursue formal education prompted her to enroll for graduation. In 1969, nearly 14 years after the enforced sabbatical from formal education, she appeared for a final exam that coincided with the day of her sister-in-law's wedding. She managed both the challenges with extraordinary grit and poise to become a graduate. Her interest in teaching arose while working in an honorary capacity at Bharat Sevak Samaj Motibag, following which she pursued a program for nursery teachers and applied for a job at Ramjas Arkepuram. She was rejected due to her fear of public speaking and her not so great grasp of the English language. However, her determination to succeed was more powerful than any fear or limitation. She took up a job as a librarian and enrolled in an English speaking course at the YWCA to enhance her, her skills. She again applied to Ramjas Arkipuram and this time pleasantly <laughs> surprised the interviewers with her immense progress. Thus began her formal association with the school in the year 1974. At Ramjas, she devoted herself to nurturing the tiny tots, instilling in them early learnings, which has gone a long way in shaping many successful futures. On any given day of school, she would be found surrounded by children, lapping her attention and avidly learning amongst a lot of cheer, color, craft and culture. In 1995, after 21 years of continuous service 
to the children and the school mrs sachdeva became the first teacher to retire from ramjas rk puram there was a real tenacity to mrs sachdeva one that was fueled by grace and courage in the wake of several challenges drawbacks and limitations that life kept throwing her way she worked hard and worked honestly to turn the odds in her favor she taught us all to have patience be kind and giving to be respectful and gracious in all we do another thing we discovered about her is that she had widely traveled in india and abroad visiting important religious and historical places she was a very religious person and would offer her daily prayers for about an hour before breakfast those who knew her best believe that she was true to her name santosh calm and composed both in life and death there is much to imbibe from her life story her thirst for excellence her fighting spirit her generosity and above all a desire to be of service for the school it is an inspiring reminder of the principles and values we stand for for the family it is an anchor of love she embraced every role from a daughter to that of a great grandmother and everything in between with complete devotion she was always there quietly taking charge guiding supporting and carrying things through mrs sachdeva you will be greatly missed by all of us and will always be in our thoughts and prayers today we have with us her son mr mandeep sachdeva may i request you sir to please say a few words mr mandeep sachdeva please thank you ma'am uh, hello thank you ma'am and uh, good morning ramjas family i am joined today on this call by my father my wife kanan my daughters aditi and pavni aditi in bombay and pavni in the us our son abiraj and our great grandson athar also on the call are my brother and bhavi that is vinod and uh, nirmal velvan thank you for all the words that you said uh, mrs kanna and all that you've added as well it speaks a lot about what you think about my mother my mother mrs santosh sadeva began her association with the school in the year 1974 she was born in a generation that did not believe in the education of daughters separated from her childhood home and bearing the scars of a near death escape to india during the partition all this only strengthened her resolve to survive and thrive she pursued her education breaking gender norms setting aside societal expectations and meeting familial obligations with grace to become the first working woman in her family he strove for excellence in each task big or small a value she endeavored to inculcate not only in her family but in the many children under her care here at ramjas our relationship with ramjas may have begun with my mother but it is one that has touched our lives very deeply my father till date take pride in her ability to handle both home and work responsibilities with great aplomb and considering that as the eldest daughter in law she catered to a large family which was it 
Hello. Yeah. It has got muted, huh? Yeah, it's we it started. Yeah. So I have fond memories of visiting the school as a young adult, watching her engage the tiny tots and spending many a fun-filled time at various school events. For my wife, my mother's association with the school resonated with their commitment as teachers. My daughters Aditi and Pavni spent their preschool years being doted upon by many teachers and staff at Ramjas. From helping Mali Bhaiya water the plants to creating crafts and playing with older kids from the junior school, they have been deeply cherished by the Ramjas family. On this momentous occasion, it is heartening to see that the sense of family and belonging created by the school is as strong as ever. I take this opportunity to acknowledge with great fondness the mentorship and love extended by Mrs. Bhajjandra to my mother. Uh, belonging to this school, this family of educators was one of the great joys of my mother's life. For 21 years, she dedicated her time to the young children. Looking forward. Looking forward to each day with the same enthusiasm. In her final years, my mother suffered dementia. The robbed her of her memory and beautiful personality. However, a few days before her passing, she was invited to a teacher's reunion at Ramjas that momentarily brought back the twinkle in her eyes. She was delighted to be back at her old school and among friends. We are thankful to you, Principal Rachana Pant, for remembering her and honoring her. Our family deeply appreciates the wholehearted support of Mrs. Pant and the Ramjas Foundation in facilitating this scholarship that we are instituting in our memory. Thank you all, ma'am. Thank you all. Thank you, Ramjas family. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And thank you, ma'am, for such warm and heartfelt words. Now I would like to request Mrs. Achdeva's brother, Mr. Vinod Dhyalan, to say few words. I hope you have unmuted him, students. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Request him. Would he like to say something? Yeah, he did say that he is going to speak. I'll, I'm trying to call him up. Okay. There on the call, he's there on this. Uh... I think he's not getting the message. <laughs> They have to unmute you. He's on, he's on call, ma'am. So, unmute Karan ke pehle. Unmuted, hai, sir. Achha, bolo, 
हाँ जी हाँ जी सर आपकी आवाज नहीं आ रही है वी कॉन्ट हेयर हेम थोड़ी आवाज नहीं जा रही है करो होल्ड करो Okay, what I'll do is I he is on my phone. I'll just put him close over here. We can. Uh, I... Okay. Paji, bolo. Yeah, after देने का धन्यवाद. आज teacher day पर मैं अपनी बुआ श्रीमती संतोष. Lost it. I think we can move on. Yeah, I think let's move on. Pavni, you want to say something? Yes. Um, thank you. Pavni, uh, my younger daughter, she is joined us from the US, where she is pursuing a PhD. Um, hello, everyone, and I'll just take a second yeah. here. I just wanted to say thank you um, for the lovely photos. Uh, I hadn't seen those, uh, but I did see her after her. Um, after her visit to the school and it was uh, personally very gratifying for me to um, see how happy she was after meeting all of you and i'm really thankful for those moments um, and the joy that you gave her um, thank you so much for honoring her thank you thank you ma'am now i request principal ma'am to say a few words respected mr j c sachdeva ji his son mandeep mr vinod rallan wife of mandeep mr kanan the two lovely daughters aditi and her family from mumbai and uh, pavni from the us and all other family members that are present there you know what today i am once again reminded of a story which has been heard many times over by my students this is the story of a man who was walking along the seashore and he found that the wave had brought in a lot of sea fish there what he started doing seeing that they might die he would take each starfish and throw it into the ocean there was a man passing by and he looked at this crazy person and he said you are cynical Do you think you can save the life of all the starfish that are there? This man took a starfish, threw it back into the river and um, into the ocean, and said, "It will make a difference to this one." Exactly what this scholarship is going to do. The Sri Mati Santosh Sachdeva Memorial Scholarship that has been instituted by Mr. J C Sachdeva and his family. will do exactly that it will save the lives of children who are less fortunate it will save the life of the have nots it will give a helping hand to somebody who is not able to fund the fees so it is not helping all it is a drop in the ocean but what a big drop it is the life that will be changed that is what i would like to say I remember the morning of 29th December 2019 when a car came inside in the porch and a lady gets down escorted by the maid and by a, a young handsome gentleman I would not like to call him an old man a young handsome gentleman next to her walking side by side and coming into the central lawn I had hardly seen Mrs. Sachdeva, maybe just once, and I had never met Mr. Sachdeva. All the teachers they flocked around her; they were talking. I still remember there was a doctor by the name of Anjali Gupta. She came and she told her husband, "Rajiv, come, come, Mrs. Sachdeva, I'm here." You know that is how it was. And then, a, a, you know, a group of ex-students they all came and they sat and they talked and they talked. While they were talking to her. she was quietly listening and there was a a very calm composed smile on her face a, a a smile as if she was very happy 
She was very, she was at peace with her sin. She was at peace with the surrounding that was there as if this is what she had wanted. This is what she wanted to be there for. So she was there. And then I saw on another table, there was this young gentleman looking at his wife, admiring uh, uh, sort of her, and at the same time, absolutely calm and quiet, as if savoring everything that was going on that day. I went and sat next to this man. He talked about a few things, how his wife was not keeping well, how she was looking forward to coming here. All that I heard from him. And he says, I do not know who the new principal is, but I'm very happy that my wife is here today. It has given her a fresh lease of life. She seems so happy. Little realizing that I was sitting next to her. So this is what I remember. And yes, a month after that, she had left for a heavenly abode as if she was waiting to come to her school. She was waiting to meet her friends and her compatriots, her colleagues, her students, the one of the students, as I told you, that doctor, the dentist doctor, just held her hand for such a long time that though I have not met or I have not interacted with Mrs. Achdeva, it still brings a lump in my throat. That was the type of bond that I could see. Dear family members, the amount that you have donated is much more, uh, this is for others and my students, much, much more than what she ever earned in her lifetime from Ramja School, R.K. Puram. And it is not just the financial, sort of the money that is there, the love and affection that she has got from everybody, which I saw on that particular day, that is on the 29th of December, 2019. To honor her service and keep her memory alive in the institution she cherished, her family has made a substantial donation of rupees 25 lakhs to Ramja School R.K. Puram, which will be in the form of a fund, a scholarship to provide monetary assistance to needy children from the pre-primary and junior section that is up to class five of this school. This scholarship fund shall be awarded annually in the form of tuition fee, books, or winter uniform. And this will be given away on the annual prize distribution day or the annual day. It is a privilege for us at Ramja School RK Puram to be able to felicitate this scholarship with your support. Mrs. S. Sachdeva has been an integral part of the school family and instituted this and instituting the scholarship in her memory is equally an opportunity for us to take forward her legacy. While Suman was reading about Mrs. Sachdeva, there are a few things that I would like to tell my students who are present here. Students, today is Teacher's Day. On Teacher's Day, you emulate, you learn things from your teacher. What better example can you have before you than Mrs. Sachdeva? Here was a lady just admire her tenacity. She came at a time when there was turmoil in the country. There was bloodshed. She had seen pain. She had seen the loss of her family and her loved ones. With all that pain and suffering, she came. And there was always that smile in her face. She never said die at that point. She was one of the eight, ten children that were there. Helped everybody, got married took care of her family, but the yearning, the passion, the love for learning that she had in her, it did not die. It did not dwindle. You know, to pick up threads again after 16, 18 years and start studying again, is that not something to emulate? Children here after a year, we give up. We say we have failed. What is fail? Fail is nothing. It is just trying one more time, isn't it? So here was this lady who studied again. So you people have no right to say that I could not do it. I have I've given up. She did not give up. How can you, her children, give up? She had that passion in her. 
she had that love in her. And they say that the determination that was there in her is something that you all must remember. So commitment, determination, passion for something that you want, never say die attitude, tenacity to go on. These are the things that you want to learn. These are the lessons that she has given. I wish I had known her a little more, but whatever I've heard has really sort of actually brought a lump in my throat. We would invite the family members to be involved in the final shortlisting of the children of the children that are recommended by the school. And then based on mutual consensus, we will decide on the scholarships that are to be awarded to the children who would definitely be benefited by it. Mr. Sachdeva and all family members, your generous act of kindness will forever fill the lives of many have-nots for decades and decades till the school stays, the scholarship stays. Mrs. Sachdeva from heaven above would be smiling and so proud of her husband and the act that has been taken by the entire family. All along, she knew that she had a husband who had a heart of gold. Now, she sees a supportive husband with a heart of gold. Thank you so much, Mr. Sachdeva and the entire family members, right to the little one who is there at the mother's lap. So he too would get the same values that have been given by you all. Mr. Sachdeva, your wife, that is our beloved teacher, will live on in the form of the scholarship. And each child getting the scholarship will be sending a prayer for the well-being of your family. My best wishes to you all. May the cup of happiness in each one of you in your life be always filled to the brim. Thank you so much from the core of my heart. And we are greatly indebted. And we hope that each child of Ramja School, Arkebudam, emulates the lessons that have been taught by this great lady. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am, for such 